Hello, welcome to our video showcasing our IFC improvements within our 2024 version of Vertex BD. Now we have IFC 4 exporting fully supported within Vertex BD. When selecting File, then Export and IFC Export, the IFC dialog box will be displayed. We have renewed these dialog boxes for 2024. On the first page, there is now a section whereby you can select what you would like to export. Within here, you can select to export by stories or by object type. On the second tab within the dialog box, we have settings. Here, you have a variety of different settings options. There are different options as to where the IFC will export, be it in the default location or a custom one. Within this drop down, we can alter the IFC version to others supported by Vertex BD. And we also have options for property sets and subnet handling located within this tab too. The final tab in the IFC export dialog box is for coordinate settings. Within here, you can set how you would like the model origin to be placed. Let's take a look at exporting an IFC with the default settings. The IFC exports quickly, and once completed, exporting can be found in the project document browser, and from there it's just a right click to open into your chosen IFC viewer. Now it's also possible to create an IFC export from selected objects within Vertex BD. For example, let's take the walls of our project. We select these and right click, and now as you can see, the option to export to IFC is available. When selected, it opens the same dialog box as before, but the selections are locked as you have pre-selected from the model window rather than here within the dialog box. Let's make another by amending the file name on the settings tab and then hitting export. Again, with the document browser, we can see the new IFC we've created. Right clicking here, we can see the IFC properties, including the scheme and what version of Vertex was used to create the IFC, as well as being able to open the IFC as before as well. When you have exported objects, those settings are saved, so you can export again with ease. Simply right click on the previously exported IFC from within the document browser and select export again. This is helpful for instances where you missed something and need to make amendments or wanted to do something differently within the project and require to recreate the IFC. Within our latest version of BD, we also have implemented GUIDs for objects. When you click to select an object and then right click, you can now select the GUID and author option here. This will open a dialog box showcasing the item's GUID, its IFC GUID, and author information as well as the creator and modifier if applicable. Let's take a look at how you can export separate IFCs from submodels while still at the same time being able to export from your main building model as required. Here we have six different submodels as part of the project. If we visit File, Export, and IFC Export, and then navigate to the Settings tab, you will see we now have the option to export submodels as separate models. We select this, which in turn will enable the software to export IFCs for both the main model and our submodels at the same time. Let's take away the terrain and then check the file extension is correct and with us happy with those, we can hit the export button. Now that has been completed, let's have a look in the document browser at our IFCs. Here we can see we now have one main model IFC and then each of our individual submodel IFCs also. Let's take a look at the main model.
As you can see, within Salibri, we have a full IFC of our main model, including the submodels. Let's have a look at one of our submodels IFCs. For example, this one, Module C. And here is our submodel IFC. Let's take a look at our IFC importing feature and what we have changed there. Within File and Import, we select the IFC option and navigate to and select our IFC file. Once selected, the IFC import dialog box is displayed. Within here, we have new options in relation to importing your IFC files into Vertex BD. The first tab pertains to object settings when importing our IFC files, and the second pertains to the placement of IFC files when importing. These are very similar to our new options included when exporting IFC files. Let's import this file with this default settings. As default, 2D objects are set to off. Here, you can see our imported IFC with the default settings. In Vertex BD 2024, we can set visibility to IFC objects. Selecting filters, we can then choose a variety of filter options. In this case, we will have a look at the walls. We select our walls and then right click and choose the set visibility option. Within the dialog box displayed, we select to turn on the visibility for our wall framing within our project's levels and press OK. Now, when we change to the framing model, we can see our visibility changes have been applied and our framing levels are now visible as selected. As well as this, we have also made improvements and changes as to how you can select when you are working on projects with large IFC models or where you have lots of objects within your IFC. Simply select within your model, right click and then choose the IFC model option. Within here, you can choose the select option, which will select the IFC model that has your selected part within it. Now, as you can see, the entire IFC model is selected. Again, if we right click and then select the IFC model tab and choose properties, you can within here view the IFC model properties, which show us the version of IFC it was imported as, as well as toolkit, model and source information. Here we also have the IFC's name and the option to allow deleting of individual IFC objects. Selecting this option enables the deleting of individual IFC objects from the IFC file as shown. Let's see what happens when we attempt to delete part of an IFC model with that option turned off. Again, we right click, select IFC model and properties, and then uncheck the previous box. Let's quickly amend our view filters to all again, and now look what happens when we attempt to modify the IFC and delete a section from within the IFC file. As soon as we attempt it, BD will display this error detailing to the user that their action is unavailable due to the IFC properties. With the protection re-enabled however, we can still right click and go back into the IFC options and select the whole model, remove the whole model and also utilize the options to move the IFC model etc with no issue. 